Hey out there, slot car land. How's everybody doing this fine, fine weekend? Um, first off, I want to um, I'll start off by apologizing for not doing the um, T-Jet motor build last weekend. I got really busy over the weekend with a bunch of other stuff around the house. Seeing it was an off weekend from racing, and I had to do some work on my wife's car, and we did some other stuff, and it, I just got tired, and I got to watching the cup race on Sunday, and, and just didn't want to just didn't want to do anything so I want to apologize for not doing that we'll definitely be getting to do that we'll definitely do that next weekend um, we'll get we'll get working on that we've only got three races to go starting tomorrow um, the last uh, we'll be racing at Mark's house so be on the lookout for those videos about midweek we'll start uploading those and I'll be on the lookout for those and then the next on Saturday next week we'll definitely do the we'll definitely get the motor plate put together for our freight for our fray build and uh, definitely going to do that, and then we'll uh, we'll tr I'll try to throw us a couple other things in there as well. So, sorry I want to apologize there, but uh, sometimes I've got to take time away to do other things that I've got to do around the house and working and all that other stuff. So, but uh, definitely we're definitely going to be doing that. So today I thought we would do I got something in um, on Friday yesterday that I ordered, and I, I want to do a review and show you guys these. And figure out, do you really need one, or is it just something you can do without? But they do come in pretty handy. What we're going to be talking about are pit boxes. These little boxes that you, you can take to the track and have your car and everything you need with them and everything else. I've got, I did a search on the internet today. There's only two people that I have found that actually build these specifically for HO slot cars. I did find another one that was on eBay that does them, that aren't 3D printed. They're actually put together, glued together with plastic and all kinds of stuff. And I just written, you know. So these are the only two viable ones that you could actually get without going to eBay. And they're, they're both pretty much the same price. And they're, they're, one of them has a little more options than the other ones. We're going to take a look at these and see if you guys actually need one of these or whether you want one or whatever. So the first one we're going to take a look at here, I'm going to get the camera down here, is from, this is the offering from Vonco. As you guys know, we've done some review with some of his stuff before with the, the parts trays, which come in really, really handy. This is the one that Elijah got at the fray last year. You probably saw him using this in the last race video. He had it at, at the track side. And they're, they're really, really cool. Um, this one he offers in three different in different colors. Um, plus he has this one here that has the, the red, white, and blue. Or the blue, white, and red. That's really cool. This center tray comes out. You've got slots up here for your oil. For your Dremel. Uh, oilers here parts or whatever you got going there you can put a car in the bottom as you can see and put this tray on top and the car is underneath it I'm not sure let's put in one of the let's put in the and then so see you can store cars on the bottom if you're like doing multiple cars or whatever or if you want to take two or three of the one cars to the to the track from your pit area and all that kind of stuff so they do fit down there in the bottom now something that Vonco offers that the other one doesn't and we'll get to that one in a minute is these little side rails here this one here on the side is for a he makes a tape holder that you can put on the side of the box and have a roll of tape there for cleaning your tires um, that's a separate piece it doesn't come with the box and that's a separate price these on the other hand do come with the box and as you can see he's got these little he's got these little pins and these are different sizes for hooking it on the edge of the racetrack as you saw what Elijah was doing during the last race if you guys saw the pit table he had it hooked on the side of the thing he's got three different ones with different um, depths for different who so if you've got different sideboards or whatever on the layout he's got different thicknesses that you can you can um, figure out how to put them on there and he's got these little metal stops that hold them in place there is a little bit of a disadvantage as you can see see the crack here 
on this one on his larger ones this one's been cracked too they have broke these are not solid plastic they are honeycombed on the inside these are also 3d printed as well just like the box is but um they are kind of fragile especially the bigger ones these smaller ones he hasn't had any issues with but this big one he's had a couple of issues with so that's a little bit of a drawback there on that one but that is the one from Vonco. You can find them on Facebook under Vonco Slot Car Tools. And that's separate two word slot and car. And so it's not one word, it's two separate words as he lists it on Facebook. He makes a bunch of other stuff like the pit part trays, um, a warm up block, um, a bell end tool. Um, he's made a little holder that holds motor brushes for your T jets for doing your X's on the bottom of them. So he's got a whole bunch of stuff there. Go check him out. Very nice, very cool, very responsive guy. He donated this to the fray last year. He also donated two controller holders that Stan has. Um, so he also makes those as well. The other offering comes from RPMS, which stands for Roger Purcelli Motorsports. Roger is a is the 2019 um, Superstock uh, Harp Harpo. Hopra Superstock Champ. He's also a three-time Superstock and Defending Champ, so he is pretty well known in the business. His dad was also a slot car racer, so that was uh, his dad was also part of. Um, I uh, can't remember. It was either it was either RTHO or somebody else or Scale Engineering maybe uh, was part of that business before he stepped aside. This is Roger's T Jet box, as he calls it. Um, now, as it comes, we'll, we'll talk about we'll talk about comparisons here in a minute. This one happens to be his, um, like I said, his T Jet box. You got a spot here for four cars. These holders are will also hold other types of cars. It'll hold your G Plus car. It works good for your Magna Traction car. So they do hold different types of cars, even though they were made for T Jets. They will hold other cars. This one has a large area over here to put something in. Two holes here, one here. Once again, you know, your, your Dremel, or you, this one will even hold, if you've got one of these um, rollers for lint rollers, it'll also hold a lint roller for your tire cleaner. You got a couple over here on the side. You've got a large uh, one here that you can put a, a larger oiler container in. And very, very cool. Now, there's something that he offers, in, and I'll show you the other part of that in a minute, but the thing that he doesn't offer that, Von, that he offers that Vonco doesn't is on your T-Jet box, he can actually install a warm-up block. So, you just... So, you can put your T-Jet on there and warm up your car before you get on the racetrack. Um, it'll also work with your Magna Traction cars. So it'll work with other cars as well. Very, very cool there. So that's something that he offers that Vonco doesn't. Um, also on his boxes, you can customize them. You can order it with your name on the side. And you can also put a logo on it. So I've got both the Slot Car Crazy logo and my name on the other side. So... This box right here is a, a $45 stock box without the name or the logo on the side. If you want your name on it, it's an extra 10. You want a logo on it, it's another extra 10. So $80 is $75 plus another 5 for shipping, so it's $80 here. If you just go with the stock pit box without your name on it or anything... It, they're the exact same price either way you go. If I remember right, uh, Vonco listed this one for 55 Roger lists this one for 55 So there is um, uh, not a price comparison on the two. The Vonco box is a stock box. No matter what you order, it looks like this. It comes with a tray, comes with the depth, and it, it's the same box no matter what. If you go with Roger, Roger's got some other options for pit boxes. So if you go onto his website, he has other things listed. And I still might even be, yeah, I'm, on, I'm still on his site. So 
as you can see three time and defending super stock champ so he is a slot car racer himself which is really cool <coughs> he offers other things as well but we're right now we're talking about his pit boxes so he has like i said this is the standard t-jet box it's 55 dollars that includes the warm-up block he has a modular pits box system which is 45 and then if you come down here he lists his modules he has a warm-up block he also has a uh, fan that you can right up here a cooling fan that you can add in as an option as well so if you're running like a uh, polymer magnet car or a uh, just a regular magnet car you can actually have a, a fan installed on your pit box so you can put the car on there and it can cool while you're doing your lane change or whatever and then his others, he's got extra chassis holders, um, the warm-up block, the uh, extra extra square block, extra long square block, um, extra extra square modules, and then the extra long. So they, they have, and you can see, these are the pictures here. There's the plate for the fan. So there's one of his bigger boxes with the thing on the side there. And there's one with the fan in it, which to this is a bigger block than the one I have, I believe. I believe they're slightly longer. As you can see, there's one with all of it in there. There's that, and then there's the T-Jet block. So, he's got other options. He's got colors. Um, I think he pretty much has any color you want on your pit box. And if you do the modular system, the box can actually be um, two separate colors. So... And you can see um, these. Some of these are from. I even know who that one's for. Who built this one was built for because I recognize the uh, Carolina State on the side of it. That's a, a friend of mine who I met at the fray. He runs a lot of magnet cars and stuff, and he runs with Roger on a regular basis. So, but um, a lot of options there. They are a little pricey, but in the long run, they pay for themselves. Um, when it comes to quality, Roger. When it comes to quality, um, I, I like Roger's one a lot better. You can hear definite plastic difference between the two of them. Um, I like that Roger's is a bigger box. Granted, you can hold five cars here where you can only hold four cars here, but these are laid out a little better where you have all your cars visible this one you've got three on the bottom and, and two in the top tray um, you don't have a big a big container over here which i haven't tried this yet but if it might be able let's get out of controller here you might even be able to if you hold your cords you might be able to even put your here, let's, here where you guys can see you can actually put your controller in the big box where you don't have that option with the Vonco one but uh very cool very sweet um if you guys and like i'm saying it's 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 something to think about especially if you're running if you're at a racetrack uh at a friend's house or whatever and he has a pit area that's separate from the racetrack if you you can take everything to the track with one of these your oil your your dremel your 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 tire cleaning your tire cleaning or whatever you use for tire cleaning to the track and just set it right there you have everything right there in case you need it you've got oil all that kind of stuff and it, it's right there right handy and this is going to come in really handy at the fray where your track you may be on black which is all the way at the front of the hall and your pit table is probably all the way in the back of the hall so you'd have to run back there if you if you need oil or whatever with these, you have them right there, right handy, and it's good to go. So, it's up to you guys whether you want to. Um, right, once again, it's Roger Purcelli Motorsports, or which he has a website. So just punch in Roger Purcelli Procelli P O R C E. What is it? Let me check that spelling real quick for you guys. Yeah, so it's. Where? Here we go. It's P O R C E L L I, Pro Selly. Um, 
Motorsports. That's the website. You punch it in there on the internet and go there, or you can go to the U or you can go to Facebook and just punch up Vonco Slot Car. Two separate words. Tools, and you can find the pit box there. You can message him. He doesn't have this listed um, on his page right now, but I'm sure you can message him through Messenger and ask him and find out how much they are. I believe they were fifty-five dollars. Which is the base, also the base price of Roger Purcelli. So when it comes to price, unless you're unless you're tricking your box out, where you don't have that option on Vonco, you do on Rogers. It does up the price a little bit, but I think it makes for a better box. You've got either warm up, you've also got the fan, where you don't have that over here. So it just all depends on what you race, what you prefer, and all that kind of stuff. But I do believe these will come in handy. Elijah has used his. Um, quite a bit lately especially at mark's house and at stan's house seems that the pits are kind of a little ways away at stan's house and i've been wanting to get one for a while and i really liked rogers so i uh, bought one from him and i'm glad i did so that's pit boxes and uh some of the options you got with them what they come in handy for and all that kind of stuff so be on the lookout for this you'll probably see this in the race videos coming up soon and um, all that kind of stuff and you guys can see how we use them and all that good stuff so but those are the two offerings. Those are the only two I found. I searched it up on, on the internet. Um, the uh, Outside of stuff listed on eBay, these are the only two places that are, are good and to get these from. So it's up to you. I prefer Rogers, but it's up to you guys. And uh, just pick what you want and use it. So I hope you guys have a great day. I'm going to definitely try and get uh, Jim to put uh, Roger Purcelli's... Um, uh, website on on slotcarcrazy.com um he also has a youtube channel if you want to go check that out as well he is heavy on the magnet cars because that's what he runs so if you're a magnet car racer it's a good resource if you want to go check out his uh youtube channel it is listed on the home page of my youtube channel very first one you can click it and go check out his videos and whatnot so go check him out as well give him a like give him a follow and uh, all that good stuff so Hope you guys are having a great week. Um, we're going to be racing tomorrow. Tomorrow is the last round of T-Jet and G-Plus at Mark's house. Um, so we got three races to go, so we're running each class one more time and the Promoter's Choice three more times. I pretty much think Stan has the championship wrapped up, but there is class championships on the line, and some of them are really, really close. So go be on the lookout for that. Um, I'm definitely probably going to do a video also next week, um, recapping the points. I might even do it today and get an, or this weekend and do one and get uh, get you guys updated on where we stand with only one race for each class left to decide it. I'll give you guys who's where and what, what are the fights are, and who's who may be able to take uh, those class championships. Stan's kind of out there a ways in the in the um, for the overall. I don't think anybody can catch him. I think he's got the overall wrapped up, but the class championships are, a couple of them are really close. So we'll check out and look at those. So hope you guys have a great week. Don't forget to check out SlotCarCrazy.com, all the great websites and information we have there. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook under Slot Car Crazy under the group pages. We have a great group of people there, Great, a lot of cool posts, a lot of great cars. Go check that out there. Don't forget to support what we do here at Slot Car Crazy. By going to shop.spreadshirt.com backslash slot car dash crazy. There is new stuff coming. I'm working on a fray shirt um, that I, I really want to do because of us not getting to go this year. That's where we would have been this weekend if it would have happened. We'd be racing the team race right about now. We'd probably be right about lunchtime. No, actually it's 2 o'clock so we'd be past lunch. But we would still be racing right now. We're, me and Elijah are both having withdrawals and everything but... Um, all that good stuff. So but I'm going to be working on some Frey shirts. I got a couple other ideas for some, a couple other shirts. So be on the lookout for that as well. And uh, don't forget, don't forget to keep that pin in the slot, them wheels on the downside. Keep racing slot cars. And we will catch you guys tomorrow. Well, actually not tomorrow, but I'll be taping tomorrow. But probably catch you guys Tuesday evening with the first race from that race, which would be the T-Jets on Tuesday evening. So be on the lookout for that. Be on the lookout uh, for the G-Plus race probably about uh, Thursday, Friday. We'll definitely do the, the motor build this coming weekend on the T on the parade car, so be on the lookout for that. And then probably Monday or Tuesday of next, not this week, but the week after, definitely be on the lookout for the Promoter's Choice race being uploaded probably Tuesday. So 
that's the schedule of things to come. And uh, I'll catch you guys uh, probably Tuesday with some race action. I'm out. Bye.